Imagine you're watching Lord of the Rings. You're watching a really awesome fight of Aragorns. And every 24 seconds on average that Aragorn is on screen, he hits himself in the head with his weapon or he drops his weapon. That's exactly what happens if you use critical fumbles at high levels. My name's Ethan. Here is why I think using the critical fumble rules when you roll a nat one in combat becomes unsustainable at higher levels. Now, just to be clear what I mean by critical fumble, natural 20, we all know automatic hit, extra damage. Natural one, automatic miss. But a lot of groups use some type of additional consequence for rolling a natural one. Maybe you drop your weapon, maybe you hit yourself, maybe you hit your ally, maybe you get disadvantaged, maybe your turn ends, maybe there's a whole table of percentile options of bad things that can happen when you roll a natural one. Whatever it is, that's what I mean by critical fumble. Now, just to be clear, I think that critical fumbles can work perfectly at low levels. It's at high levels when they start breaking down. Let's say you're a level one fighter and you can make one attack. That means on any given round, you have a 5% chance of rolling a natural one and a 5% chance, therefore, of a critical fumble, some additional negative consequence that goes along with the natural one. But let's say you're a higher level fighter and you can make five attacks in a single round, in a single six seconds. That means every six seconds, this high level fighter has a 25% chance at some point in that six seconds of dropping their weapon, hitting themselves, hitting their ally, whatever the consequence of a natural one is. That doesn't seem right to me. Now I know you also have, as a result of getting five attacks, a higher percentage chance of rolling a natural 20 during your round. But you should. You're a high level. You're a better fighter. You should be critting more often than a level one fighter. Should you be dropping your sword more often than a level one fighter as a level 20 fighter, or as a level 15 fighter, as an Aragorn, as an Inigo Montoya? Because that's the way it would work. How ridiculous an outcome would that be if the better fighter more often per second drops their sword, hits themselves, hits an ally, whatever the critical fumble result is. Now, if you want to use critical fumbles at low levels, fine. But as you get to higher levels in order to have realism and have it be sustainable, you have to either take those critical fumbles away or make them happen less often. So you get better at avoiding the consequences of rolling a natural one. This is just so that you have a more realistic, more sustainable fight system. If the high level fighter is dropping their sword more frequently than the low level fighter, I think there's something faulty about the system. That's why I don't use critical fumbles at high levels. Use them if you want to, it's your game. Just my opinions. Take them for what they're worth.